So here we have a new 2023 Cadillac CT4 V Series. And this CT4 V comes in the beautiful Rift Metallic. And then we have jet black perforated leather interior with jet black accents. And the powertrain on this bad boy is going to be a 2.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder. Made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. And this Rift Metallic kind of has like a, a matte gray look to it. It looks absolutely incredible. I love it. So there's the front end there, LED headlamps. And of course we have our LED signature Cadillac lights there. And this beautiful black mesh grill. And then we have the gloss black to go with the paint color on the bumper. It's a really good look. Now going around to the wheels here, these are going to be 18 inch aluminum. And you've got these Continental summer tires on here. Of course, for your quick sprints when you want to take them. But keep in mind, this car still is rated by the EPA for 20 miles per gallon city, 29 miles per gallon highway. So. And there we have our controls for our memory seats, power door locks power windows with the front two being one touch up and down and then we have our power mirror controls there we can open our trunk there decent sized pocket for such a small car and then we do get a 14 speaker Bose premium sound system and then here's your SD card reader for your for performance data recorder if you want to use that heads up display control electronic parking brake you just push that down to engage and then press the brake press it down again to disengage and there we have our front driver seat which is going to be power with power lumbar and you also get massage by hitting that button too always like having that now with this being such a small vehicle I have the seat back quite a bit for someone myself 63 but I'll just show you the leg room anyway And I, can, I can't even put my foot right there. So that's my leg room there. And like I said, the seat in front of me is just for someone of my size. But it is a very, I should say, relatively small car. So, but we do still get rear AC vents, which is nice. And we have a 12 volt as well down there. And then we do have nice back seat pockets on either side. And then the center seat folds down. And we have two cup holders there. And then I do like that we have the LED dome lights there and then we can hang our clothes there or use the grab bar here which if you're going to be driving this spiritly, spiritedly excuse me, with passengers you're going to want to have that because this is no slouch. But before we check out the back end, there's a look at the trunk space there. And I love having this pocket here. Nice, decent size there. And then, of course, we can jump our battery off directly here because the battery is going to be in the trunk. But decent sized trunk space as well for a smaller car. But there's a look at the back end there. Dual exhaust. Pretty good sound so far. And then for our fuel filler, there's that there, and there are the recommendations for what kind of fuel you should put in there. I actually put 93 in it for the test drive. We're going to see how this thing feels. And I did forget to mention, one thing I do like is we get passive keyless entry on all four doors with this CT4V. And then to fold the seat down, pull that there, you can do it on either side, and then you've got a bit of clearance to run longer objects through there. And then we can just fold it back up to lock it back into place. And there's our front passenger seat. I believe same adjustability as the front driver 
with that power, power lumbar, and then the massage function. And then you also can get that thigh support there as well just by pulling that. But overall, especially if you're just going to be in this car by yourself, shouldn't have any issues. Like I said, I'm six foot three and I, the seat is very adjustable. You just don't have a lot of room behind you when you push it all the way back. Let's go ahead and pop the hood though. Take a look at this engine. And there's that 2.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder there. Gonna see how much we can get out of it. But let's hop in the driver's seat. So a really nice leather wrapped steering wheel here. And I do actually have the seat quite a bit back, so I'll scoot it up a little bit. But over here to the radio, we do have AM, FM, and XM, along with Bluetooth audio. And then we get wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto compatibility as well. And here's the nav coming up. There's our navigation system there, runs off an SD card. And I do like that we can pull up our climate controls, which we do have dual zone automatic climate. And then you can, it's very responsive the screen is. You turn it off, auto mode, sync. And then you can decide if you have it in auto where you want the air to go. And then this one does have the option of having that air ionizer as well, which I'll show you on the window sticker, what package that comes with. And then we also get this performance data recorder which also is part of a certain package. And then we can choose to have the video overlay on, lap timing, all that. But you will have to have that SD card reader where I showed you earlier, and then you can record all of that, which is pretty neat when you're able to do it. And there's our backup camera with guidelines that adjust as you turn the steering wheel. And then down here we have those climate controls again. And then we do get three stage heated cooled seats for the driver and front passenger along with our parking sensors. And there is our lane keep assist with lane departure. And a very nice size wireless charging pad there. Now for the shifter, you push this button here, pull down for drive, pull down again for manual. You can tap up for neutral and then hit the button, pull all the way up for reverse, press P for park. And then in that manual mode, you can use the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. Now, one of my favorite things about the newer Cadillacs, since they got rid of the Q screen, is being able to use these buttons and knobs to actually work your way around the screen here. So as I'm adjusting volume, that goes up. And then we have our shortcuts. And we can actually use scroll bar and once you get used to it, it probably takes about two minutes to learn everything very very easy and then our home button is going to be right here but all of your other quick shortcuts nav music phone back and then you can see through your stations or track list whatever you can do all that through there and then we have our auto stop we can toggle here automatic brake hold we can toggle there and then we have several drive modes so i'll show them here on the screen we have our track sport my mode tour and then snow and ice so i'll start it off in sport mode because this is what i'm mostly concerned about but you can see as i toggle the modes it'll show up on the screen how everything is adjusted so there's that track mode so I'm eager to see that as opposed to the sport mode. That's the difference there. Yeah, that'll be fun. But we'll start off in sport mode, see if I can tell the difference. There's our sunroof, which we can 
course, one touch, tilt, or slide. And it actually opens up all the way, which is nice. Then we have our universal home remote up there as well for our garage. Center console cubby space, actually a decent size for such a small car. And then there's that SD card reader for the navigation. The sun's kind of in the way. And then we have a USB-C, USB-A input there. And then a 12 volt. And then you can just kind of hold your phone there if you want to. I love this interior, by the way. The orange accents really, or I should say the brown accents really do it for me. I love that. Lockable glove compartment here. Owner's manuals. And then over here to the left side of the steering wheel, we have our cruise controls, heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, or the uh, gap adjust for the adaptive cruise. And then we have voice recognition, mute, and we can toggle between our adaptive cruise or our standard cruise just by holding that X button there and you'll see how it changes. And then of course we can activate our V mode and that'll show you there the difference between the V mode and the tour mode. And then volume controls here, track list or radio station favorites here, and then the scroll bar and these two arrows or how you go through your gauge cluster, specifically that right side. That's the configurable side. And then our headlamp controls on the left, blinkers, and then windshield wiper controls on the right. And then I'm gonna try and get this heads up display to come up so we can see that. And there that is kind of hard to see but I'll toggle through the info so that just shows that picture looks a lot worse than it actually is but that'll show you when you have your cruise control on what the speed limit is and then of course your uh, your revs there so just a couple of views but it's nice to have that there there's your push button start I'm going to go outside because this window sticker is in the glass here. It scared me just a little bit. And there's a window sticker there. And you can see all the different performance mechanisms that are in place there for your driving. And then... The navigation package is what has that performance data recorder. And then the technology package, you get that air ionizer, the head-up display, the massage. So I definitely like how this one is spec'd out. And honestly, that's not a bad price for a V-Series Cadillac. But there's our key fob with remote start. And now let's go ahead and take this CT4 V-Series out on the road for a quick test drive. The shifts, of course, are very, very fast. And the exhaust has a little bit of a backfire to it, which I enjoy. But I'm already ready to put this into track mode, so let's do that. Incredible for a four cylinder. <laughs> wow. Of 
course, I don't want to get it too hot, but this thing is, it's just so crazy. This small of a vehicle with this small of a powertrain is this fast. That is crazy. And then here's the adaptive cruise on now. And I have the lane keep assist, which is just gonna ping me back and forth as it feels me going in and out of the lines. I'm gonna put it back into drive mode. But this is actually pretty exhilarating for what it is. And the ride quality is very Cadillac-like. Very nice ride and very, I can feel the wind noise being kind of dampened because it's pretty windy. I think it's blowing about 15 miles per hour. And still, I have to listen for the wind noise. Yeah, so far I'm extremely impressed. And I am in track mode, so I don't know if it'll let me put the auto stop on now. Now the tour mode, it's kind of hesitates to find that shift point when I put my foot into it. So I want to see in track mode, how it reacts. And it hesitates just a tad to find what gear it wants in automatic mode, but I mean, in that manual mode, boy, thing is, it's snappy. So if you really want a spirited ride, I would definitely put it into track mode and then put into that manual mode so you can tell it what to do. And just a really overall fun car, but also a very luxurious car. My only complaint is going to be the size, but like I said, if you don't have anybody with you and it's just gonna be you, this is perfect. And for the, if you have a little bit more company with you, I should say quite often, then you should definitely go with the CT5V in my opinion, same power, not necessarily the black wing, but you get that same kind of pull, same snappy transmission. You're paying a little bit more money, but you have that added space. And then of course, if you want the epitome of luxury and you want some super quick, try and find an older CT6V because that thing was, I drove a 2020, that was one of the most incredible drives I've had. Just knowing that I was in a boat of a car that was still doing zero to 60 around four seconds. But in true Cadillac fashion, just really smooth ride when I'm not putting my foot in this car. And I'm just extremely impressed for under 60,000 what you get with this CT4V. And I see why they want you to run that premium so you can get that full effect of driving this thing. But this will bring me to the end of my review of the new 2023 Cadillac CT4V series.